so it is established that standard field cannot be made mandatory through field options okay it can be made mandatory by page layout but individual page layout whoever has that page layout where it is made mandatory they will have it mandatory whoever does not have a page layout where it is mandatory they will not have it mandatory standard field if i want to make a standard field mandatory so that it will also be mandatory in workbench or import wizard then i have to write a validation rule okay sir this is the first automation can, can you repeat once sir standard field cannot be made mandatory in field field options right we do not get the required checkbox standard field can be made mandatory in page layouts but that will not affect workbench or import wizard if we want to make it mandatory in all page layouts and also in workbench and import wizard then we have to write a validation rule clear that was just the how to write a validation rule to make account number mandatory down below on the left you have validation rule account number validation we have now created a validation rule okay what will i have to do i have to put a condition which i want to block what is the condition that a formula not only have you have to write a formula what formula a formula which i want to block so what i want to block account number field value not equals to sir not equal to what not equal to Bangla bolo. Account number. Account condition time block to take. Is not true, sir. Is not true. Function. Is not a poor ajbo. Function to the bad diami kote chai. Ki kote chai. Ki kore kore. Equal to not equal to it at the bottom. Equal to Kyo. Not now. Not now. The condition tower balloon team and a question tower balloon. Validation rule the A. I mean, key block could the change. What is the condition I want to block?
account number equal to quotation quotation blank value बस फैगल और किया चाहिए इतनी तो चाहिए जो दी अकाउंट नंबर इक्वल तू ब्लैंक है तब मैं इटा लाओ कर बोलूँ मैंडेटरी होएगा लो इरर मैसेज दिखता है किया से मैसेज दबो अकाउंट कैन नॉट बी नॉट ब्लैंक सर बोल जाए इस ब्लैंक दे वो कराया है बेसर फंक्शन तो पड़े ही रहता है तो वो तो नॉर्मल इक्वल तू ही करते बच्चों ना कि फंक्शन नंचो को पड़े स्टेप पड़े स्टेप इरा मैसेज टक कोता देखा बो फील्ड के पासे देखा बो ओन फील्ड के वैलिडेशन रूल बनी ची अकाउंट 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 नंबर हाँ तो चलेट करो टा Yes, this is it. It is validation rule. Validation rule is the error condition formula. This formula is either true or false return. True return data is true. This is the condition that we have written. That should be true always. That is what we want to do. That should be true always. That is what we want to do. पैरेडिशन रूले जे कंडीशन दिले एक चीज़ शेटा हमारे ब्लॉक करता है और माने उटा सबसे में ट्रू होता है अकाउंट नंबर इज़ इक्वल टू ब्लैंक कोटेशन कोटेशन ब्लैंक बस वे गल ये रखे ब्लॉक करो चलाओ एक बार लेट्स सी इट वर्किंग एक तो जिन्हें सभी ये रखे तो रेड स्टार आज भी ना ठी रेस्टार एक मत तो राज भेज दिया मैं पेज ले आउट ही पड़ी, ठीक है सर? चलो लेको एक बार अकाउंट नेम टा खाली भरे सेम मारो। सेव। अकाउंट नंबर घर के जे ओपरे जाई। एक आने लेखा जाए अकाउंट नंबर कैन नॉट बी प्लेन, ठीक है सर? वैलिडेशन रूल फायर्स व्हेन यू आर हिटिंग द सेव बटन and it will check the condition. If the condition is true, it will block it. Okay, so you have to give a blocker condition while writing a validation tool. This way, you can make a standard field mandatory. The benefit of validation rule is that it will fire everywhere. For all page layouts, it will also fire for workbench. Clear? Now, this validation rule can be also utilized in custom uh, field. Now I will take control. So what is, so is the validation rule only for blank check? No, certainly not. Blank check can be written in a in a better form using formulas. Okay. Am I sharing my screen? Yes, yes sir. So blank check is usually written like I will have a convention of writing is account number I'll check or blank check. Right? That should be your uh, process and you should, should every word should start with a capital letter yeah please follow these conventions so what what is a better way of doing it instead of using the field right away there are so many functions here you try to use those here one of them is basically logical functions in this logical function you will get all these properties good things so is blank check is usually the best check if you want to check for blank use is blank and click on this expression. This needs to be repressed with the values you want to or the fields you want to check. So if it is account number, insert it, and that's it. You are done. 
this will do exactly the same thing which uh, account number is mente so this will work exactly like what uh, this is a better way of writing it so it is easier for people to understand so use formulas and functions okay number is mandatory okay i use the wrong field to show the value it should be on account number okay you can also show the validation rule on page top where is that the top of the page you can also do this so what will happen if i create a new and it will show on the top of the account number is well mandatory directly to show one. Okay. So this is the way we are basically writing validation rule. But validation rule can be used for more complicated conditions. Like I want account number not to be blank, or I want a different condition. Validation rule is basically also called custom validation rules. Validation rule is needed for your organization so that your employees can enter the suitable data which you want. So in account number, probably there is a format of in your organization for account number. That means your account number should start with A N. Okay, if that is the requirement, what will you do? So I will go with a text function, and here I have starts with or something like that begins i will take this what is the text this account number i will take this it is a type of text right and i will compare this with what a n that's it okay and i will also show it with the account number. so i will say account number should start with a n So I will test it once again. And please note that if you are not putting any value in account number, it will not fire. Where is the account number? Yeah. Let's not have this. Yes.
is going on. to check what is going on anyway we'll test it with uh, this one sla serial number sla serial number let's see okay. something i think in the cache is not refreshing for me okay so i will uh, write a validation rule now for SLA validation. Yes, somehow that field is not coming for me. SLA serial. Okay, so this time, this is the API name. So I will go and change the validation tool. And instead of this, I just can update this. So what I will do? SL number start with VN. So I will just replace this with this character and I will say SLA serial number should start with AN. This should show me this. Okay, so now we start. Please note, I have started with a fifth. Sorry, I blocked Ulta. I want to block that AN should be the account number which is allowed. So if I have a condition which is an allowed condition, I will I write a blocker for that. That means I have to write anything except AN. Right? I will not allow anything except AN. So this is a allowed condition. So I cannot use this in my validation rule because I have to write the condition which I have to block. That is the reason why it allowed me to save because AN is, FF is a allowed condition, right? But I want AN to be the only thing which should go in. So what I have to do is that I have to put a not before and after. If I put not, then it will reverse the condition and it will block anything inside that condition so this is the allowed condition if you put a not then it will create the automatically it will create the disallowed condition so when i now go ahead and create a new account test and i write ff it will not allow me to save because it's saying that sla serial number should start with a so then if i start with this Will allow me to save because now I have written uh, past the uh, uh, past condition, right? So I can see that I can use text fields, text uh, formulas to write my conditions. If I want to block anything which starts with FF, then I don't need this not condition. I just save it. And if I start anything with FF, it will not allow me to save it, right? It will allow anything else. So, yes. Allowed. If I now just block me. So this is the way we can write validation rule for many kinds of different conditions which I have in mind. Most importantly, I can also put ranges. That is the most important use of this condition. What is a range? 
I have a range. And for range, I need a numeric field. So let's go and check a numeric field. Mm. Number of emblems, right? It's a range. I want to allow people to enter values between 100 to 200. What will I do? I don't want people to create accounts who has employees which is less than 100 or, or more than 200. Let's first do what is less than 100. So employee less than 100 block up. Let me write that first. What will I do? This is my employee. Less than 100. That's it. Employees cannot be less than 100. Where I will show this on employee. Right. Let me just check this. Employees there. No, employees there. So I want fifty. See? Okay. It is not allowing me to put values. Now it will allow me to put three hundred, right? But I want to block anything above two hundred also. So what I can do, I, then I can create another validation rule. So back to validation rule. I will say employee greater than 200. Okay. Same thing, employee. But then employees not be then same they want this to be saved. So now both will work. If I put an employee as it will block if I have an employee 250, it will also block. Right? Both is working. Can I make one validation rule instead of two validation rules? Yes, you can. So you have to combine the validation rule this validation rule and this validation. What are the conditions? The first condition is number of employees greater than 200. Second condition is 100 greater than less than 100. So how do I combine these two so that I can only write a single validation rule? So let me delete this. So I will combine the conditions of these two validation rule into one validation rule. Combination of conditions can be done using and or or. What is or? Or means any of the condition, if it is true, then it is true. What is and? And means all the conditions needs to be true, then only it will become true. Okay. Combined combination will become a so. All means all conditions true, or means any conditions true. Makes it true. So I will check employee validation. Employee 100 to 200. So here I have two, two conditions. One is employee greater than 200. I want to block another key. 
employees less than 100 i want to know how can i combine these two conditions hello or use korbo na and use korbo and use and and use korbo can i and use korbo because i want both the conditions together i want employees should be uh, like more than 100 but employees should be less than 200 so dutto condition ke combine korte gole i have to use and because i need both the conditions to be true let me test it now let's put a value of 50 50 kilo number of employees 50 greater than 200 true or false number of employees is 50 less than 100 ekta value diye age test korchi 50 put korechi you amar screen e ami 50 50 felechi hmm 50 is greater than 200 true or false false 50 less than 100 true or false true the dutta miliye ki holo so ta to eta then it won't work if our number of employees 250, for the true? Hmm. Correct? False. False. Tell us, what is the It won't work. If our order is checked. 50 dal dilam, operator key holo? 50 dilam. False. 50. 50 yeah. greater than 200, true or false? False. False. Nishata? False. Nishata false. 50 is false. Nah, 50 is false. Nishata false. 50 is false. Total is true. False. True, false, 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 false. Either any of the conditions will be true, then it will work. Total is false. True, false. True, false. True, false. True, false. True, false. True, false. Yes. Tale block hoye gallo. Ebar ulto dekhi. 250 hole kya hobe? So 250 hole pore first condition will be 250 true. is greater than 200. So first condition will be true. Second condition? 250 less than 100. It will be false. So total milye kya holo? So true hobe. Tale abar fire kollo. So do not jump into conclusions. You have to test it, what you are talking about. There are two conditions which both you have to check. When both the conditions need either of the conditions, then it is a any situation. At a time, Duto condition true hote pare na. That's it. Okay. Tale, when I am writing a blocker conditions, always, most of the time, it will be or operator between them. Or a way like that. That is also another way of writing it with a function that is OR bracket eta comma eta. So we always prefer people to write like this is yet to wait two conditions either of the condition ne purlei jodi ami block korte chai then it's a or condition that means any of the situation true holi ami block korbo both noy all noy and mane hocche sob kota condition true hote hobe tobei ami blocker fire usually when you have blocker conditions, you can see that 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 you can see 
বাইরে নট লাগালে বোঝাচ্ছে হ্যাঁ স্যার যদি বলতাম 100 থেকে 200 এলাউ করব আর কিছু এলাউ করব না তাহলে কি হবে আবার सेम জিনিস দুটো কন্ডিশন এলো এবার নাম্বার অফ এমপ্লয়িজ গ্রেটার দ্যান 200 এলাউ করব নাম্বার অফ এমপ্লয়িজ লেস দ্যান 100 এলাউ করব 100 থেকে 200 এলাউ করব না তাহলে কি করব যখন এলাউড কন্ডিশন দিয়ে দিচ্ছে সেগুলোকে যদি জুড়তে পারে জুড়তে পারবে খুব ইজি উপায় হচ্ছে এলাউড কন্ডিশন গুলোকে আগে লেখো কি এলাউড কন্ডিশন আছে নাম্বার অফ এমপ্লয়িজ গ্রেটার দ্যান 200 নাম্বার অফ এমপ্লয়িজ লেস দ্যান 100 এই দুটো কন্ডিশন এর বাইরে একটা নট লাগাবো খুব ইজি নট মানে এটা এটা এলাউড কন্ডিশন ভিতরে এবার এলাউড কন্ডিশনটা কি করে জুড়বো greater than 100 employee less than 100 ek je kono ekta situation jodi hoy seta ke ami stop kore debo clear hocche Yes, Raja, 50 dia. 50 greater than 200 false less than 100 true Thermal total condition true ulte jacche false fire korche na 150 dia test kori 150 greater than 200 true 150 less than 100 uh, false the dutu milie true holo tar baire jodi not kori tale ki hobe reverse hoye gelo হলো ব্যাপারটা এই ব্যাপারটা এমপ্লয়িজ ইজ দেন Up ten two hundred Judi Amiliki Aleki Katkore এটা কি হতে পারে দুটো এমপ্লয়ি গেটার দ্যান 100 আবার এমপ্লয়ি গেটার দ্যান 200 দুটোই ট্রু হবে এট এ টাইম গেটে যাচ্ছে নাকি তাই কি হতে পারে না তো এটা এটা দিস ইজ পসিবল স্যার Hmm. Tale actor number of employee get up than hundred hotel for a less than two hundred hotel for a title collector range hello hundred take a hundred one take a sugar to one hundred ninety nine percent to get it to the hundred tickets should go to check the lay equal to the other one it can be equal to the the 200 or 100 to include put the show the letter equal to it the not a coro a low evaluable about the ever tarp or a value the cash the 100 take 200 at a range a range a I mean okay kind of value to go to the one I'm a and condition current to the 250 high 250 get up than 100 true hobby in the two feet three less than 200 a false way of it a block at that fire for when allowed a yellow Ulto 50 greater than 500 false regalo, shop million false regalo, blocker fire.
কিন্তু এনিথিং বিটুইন হান্ড্রেড টু টু হান্ড্রেড দুটো কন্ডিশনই ট্রু ব্লক করে দেবে राइट ए वैलिडेशन रोल on the salary field which will only allow value between 10 crore to 50 crore 10 crore niche jano block hoye jay 50 crore er upore jano block hoye jay thik ache sir abar kon question ta bolben arekbar right to validation salary of an actor should be between 10 crore to 50 crore that's it that, that is the requirement eta validation rule diye pura dekhabe next class 